Hello, I'm JP and welcome back to my channel. Um, if it's your first time here, you might want to consider subscribing. Um, today I'm talking about, uh, well, I'm taking a closer look at my new lens, the Sigma 16mm f1.4. And I'm comparing that to the stock lens that I got with my Canon F50, which is the 15 to 45 uh, f3.5 to f6.3. So the other day I finally took the plunge and ordered the Sigma uh, 16mm f1.4 lens for my Canon. Had seen a few reviews, it looked pretty good. Um, the capabilities of my current uh, stock uh, lens that low light was, was, was poor and I wanted something that's going to work for me vlogging wise. So I thought what I'll do is I will get the uh, the Sigma 16 millimeter. What held me back initially, obviously the price, 399. Um, and I looked at a few reviews and things and compared the specification and the, I was worried about the, you know, there was no in lens uh, image stabilization um, and things like that. But um, I think the pros completely outweigh the cons. Having filmed a few things already, uh, with this lens, um, I am really pleased at the way that uh, the footage is taking shape. So as I mentioned, this part I am filming on uh, the Sigma 16mm f1.4 and I'm going to switch it over and uh, go on to the Canon 15 to 45 uh, and then we all can see what the difference is in exactly the same situation. Okay, I've switched lens and now we have the Canon uh, 15 to 45 um, f3.5 to f6.3 um, on the on the Canon M50. So um, I think straight away um, I noticed that uh, the effect of around me everything is not quite so you haven't got that lovely blur um, straight off. But anyway, the advantages of this lens are the fact that it is a lot smaller. It's a lot smaller and, and uh, a more compact. Um, also, secondly, it's lighter. Um, uh, so uh, that could be something to consider. Personally, I don't think it makes a massive difference when vlogging, having vlogged with both lenses. The Sigma's version is not um, uh, particularly heavy, but this lens is a lot lighter. So that might be somebody's consideration. Uh, Canon lens also has inbuilt in uh, image stabilization so um which the the actual uh, sigma does not have uh, that could be something that is an advantage what i will do next is i will do a uh, a walk and talk bit uh, with movement uh testing the both the lenses and then we'll see uh truly if that does make a difference because the canon m50 does have in camera image stabilization Right, now for the crunch test. Let's have a little check and see what it's like comparing the uh, Canon 15 to 45 um, and the Sigma 16 millimeter whilst actually walking around vlogging. Um, does the 16 millimeter Sigma without any lens st stabilization uh, render it useless for that? Um, does the Canon win hands down or does it not make a difference because the Canon M50 camera has uh, stabilization in the camera itself. Okay, this is now um, with the Canon 15 to 45, walking around, vlogging um, in a kitchen, in an apartment uh, that we've hired for the weekend while we're away. Um, so uh, 
it, uh, I could be talking about anything, I could be looking at anything, I could be moving around like we do. Um, but uh, it looks to me from this point, um, while I'm looking at it, everything seems to be holding okay. So, uh, which you'd expect because there's image stabilization in the camera on the Canon M50 and there's image stabilization in the lens. So let's do a quick swap and, uh, and see what, uh, what that makes a difference. Okay, we've now switched over to the uh, Sigma um, F1.4, uh, 16 millimeter um, lens on the Canon M50. And as I said before, um, this lens doesn't have any in-body st stabilization whatsoever, but the Canon M50 does have camera uh, in-body stabilization in that. And what I've done on that, I've got it just set at the standard mode, haven't got it set at the enhanced mode. So uh, whether or not that makes a difference. So, um, I mean, I'm looking at the screen, it looks like it's holding everything fine. So I'm now back with the Sigma uh, 16 millimeter F 1.4. And um, firstly, uh, to start with, it looks amazing on the Canon M50. It is a big lens does look very pro and uh, that does give you confidence when 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 you when you're filming so that, that for well, personally I feel that anyway uh, secondly um, the autofocus is really quick it's great I'm really pleased with that um, so uh, there's there's nothing to worry there about coming away from um, uh, Canon's own lenses uh, and going to another brand because the autofocus works perfectly. It's really, really, really fast on that. Um, images are, well, you have a look. Images are crisp um, and spot on. In fact, when I've looked at, uh, compared my first uh, few shots um, with, with stuff that I've filmed already on the 15 to 45, um, I, I've, I've been really impressed with the fact that it actually comes across. It looks like I've upgraded the whole thing, not just the lens, it looks like I've gone and upgraded the camera, in my opinion. It, that lens is bringing the best out of the Canon M50. Uh, and, uh, and that's fabulous, because you know, I, I, I don't want to have to upgrade the camera. Um, it's, not, it's not in the budget, it is not on the list. Uh, so I, I am very pleased uh, with that. Um, also, uh, I did a little test outside with it. And low light is, everybody goes on about the low light being good, but the low light is absolutely awesome. And um, I would, uh, if, you, if you do low light filming, then, then seriously, especially vlogging, uh, then, you, then this, this could be your ultimate lens and, and package um, for the uh, Canon M50. I'd love to know your thoughts on the Sigma 16mm f1.4 for the Canon uh, M50. If, um, if you've got one, if you're considering getting one, what are your thoughts? What, what, what's going through your process on, on the buying cycle? Is it something you're considering? Is there another lens that, uh, that you're thinking, actually, that will take priority? Um, so if so, I'd love to know in the comments because um, I'm, I'm, I'm learning and looking at these lenses myself and uh, would love to have the feedback. So that'd be really appreciated. Um, additionally, I've actually come to the decision that I'm actually going to get the 56 mil version as well. Um, and I'm probably going to do that this next week. So I will do a back to back comparison on that as well. Um, and, uh, and probably with the, the 15 to 45 at the 45 point. Um, so we will do, I, I, will, I will, I will do that and I'll, and I'll upload that. Hopefully that'll be up on the channel within a couple of weeks. So I hope you enjoyed, um, this footage, uh, and it, and it made a bit of sense. If I tell you what I've been using today, obviously, you know, I've been filming on the Canon. M50. Um, I've been using the two the two lenses, one being the Sigma uh, 16 millimeter f1.4, and the other one being the uh, Canon uh, 15 to 45 um, lens. So also wireless microphone wise, I've had the Rode uh, video mic go going throughout. So hopefully that's been okay because I've only just 
purchased that as well. I've upgraded from a shotgun mic. I don't know if it's an upgrade yet. It gives me flexibility. We'll see what it, how, how it works long term. Um, also, I've been using the uh, Jobby 3K uh, as my actual uh, stand for my camera. So anyway, once again, thanks for watching. Hope you've enjoyed it. If you did, maybe one of these. Um, if not, well, hey ho. And, uh, and please do consider subscribing. Until next time, JP out.